you know, you witnessed uh, the roadshow yesterday. We saw that the excitement was palpable in the air. The Prime Minister is going to be filing his nomination today. There is a host of uh, things that he's uh, likely to do today. You know, there is a VIP guest list who are going to be witnessing uh, the Prime Minister filing his nomination. You've spoken to a number of people and perhaps for the first time you also heard some criticism about the development in uh, Varanasi. Uh, what's the atmosphere like today? It's obvious that it's not going to be as electric as it was yesterday, but the remnants of the Prime Minister's roadshow can be clearly seen uh, today as well. Absolutely, Vineet. Uh, yes, like you said, that uh, there was a lot of overwhelming support for the Prime Minister. But at the same time, yes, there was some criticism as well. And that's the beauty of our democracy. So we are all here to celebrate that as well, to hear the critics as well. But uh, as you said, uh, the atmosphere today is not as electric as it was yesterday. Of course, people are back uh, to doing their work. It's a regular day in Varanasi, except a lot of the routes have now been blockaded uh, to ensure that the Prime Minister can make his way through the city, as he has a very packed day today as well. He's going to be beginning with the dip in the Holy Ganga waters. He will then make his way to the Karl Bhairo Temple, after which he's heading to Taj Hotel in Varanasi, where he will be welcomed by all of the VIPs that we've been discussing all morning. And then finally, they will make their way to this exact spot. This is where the cavalcade will come in from. And this has been turned entirely into a fortress. As you can see, hundreds of <laughs> cops uh, and other security forces now at the nomination filing center. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.